Well, I'm really excited to speak with you. I've seen you in so many things. Oh, thanks. As of late, you've been in a lot of heartfelt movies. You know, you have this one, Welcome to Marwin, and then you have um, Beautiful Boy. Yeah. What is the creative process like for you switching over from these humorous roles that we've seen to now a lot of really touching and heartfelt? Yeah, it just it just so happened that a lot of these things happened at the, uh, at the same time. Um, it's weird because I shot all of these within, I guess, a year and a half, and then they all come out within a month of each other. So, so there's a lot, you know, a lot sort of condensed at the same time. But it's... Nothing that I, I planned on. Um, these were just offers that I got and, and things that uh, inspired me or moved me. Marwin in particular was a story. I saw the documentary and I was, I, I just, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And it uh, really resonated with me about who this person was and how kind a person he is and how he was able to get through such adversity and uh, and come out the other side as a as a, a a lovely uncynical person. Was there anything actually in particular about Mark that really resonated with you that you had to seek you know the role and look into creating oh, yeah. this as a as a full production? So, uh, it's so many things about who he is as a human being that resonated with me. I the fact that he completely lacks cynicism resonated with me because I feel like. There's a lot of there's a lot of cynicism out there today, and within this world, an uncynical person seems a, a little bit out of step because everyone has a, an axe to grind, and everyone is angry, and everyone uh, just ex you know there's just a lot of hatred out there, and even in the face of this hatred that uh, almost got him killed, he is kind and generous and has turned his pain into art and he's done it, it, it he's he's the to me a, just a complete reflection of positivity yeah and it's pretty amazing how we found a way to heal yeah. and he's done that you know through the captain and you've said before everyone has a little superhero inside of them what does your little superhero look like what does mine look like yeah. i hope or he looks like now? the superhero in this movie i mean that's about as good as it's going to get for me as a superhero like that's he's about 70 percent better looking than i am and i'll take it it's awesome you know, and the character also has, you know, his band of women and friends that are in real life as well as, you know, as a little figurine. And he always looks to them for support. What do you think this film also says about the power of women? A lot. It's it's a very big focus of his world, the real Mark. He, the, the person who found him when he was left for dead was a woman. The Really, all of the people who have saved him through his life and protected him and loved him are women. And uh, there's a line in the movie where his character says, women are the saviors of the world. And that's, again, it's really authentic sentiment coming from him. Um, and I think it's extremely timely as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for Thanks. your time. Thanks, thank you.